in this video i'll tell you what is caries analysis now first of all many mal occlusions they result from a tooth material and arch discrepancy all right either the arch uh, present is more or arch length present is more or the tooth material present is more or less or vice versa all right so uh, caries analysis uh, helps us in evaluating the discrepancy between the both now first of all we need the arch okay so arch length how we will calculate the arch length for the arch length we use a soft brass wire uh such that this wire it is uh, suppose uh, these are our teeth all right so i've drawn till second molars now uh, the brass wire it is taken and uh, it is uh, basically uh, anterior to the first molar this is our first molar all right now anterior to it so from premolar to premolar we take the wire and we pass the wire like this all right uh, so uh, basically we are taking anterior to the first permanent molar that is you can also talk about it as second premolar to second premolar all right uh, now here are two points if it is retroclined if the incisors are retroclined anterior are retroclined so what you do is retroclined means that they are pushed backwards all right there's something like um something like this in this you will pass the wire so this is the second premolar you will pass the wire labial all right not here till here all right uh, the wire is passed labial to the retroclined anteriors now if the anteriors they are proclined as in something like so you will pass it through the cingulum okay wire is passed through the cingulum of proclined anteriors in this case the wire is passed along the along the uh, incisal edge of anteriors incisal edge of anteriors all right now we are done with tooth material uh, arch length now we need tooth material so second parameter is tooth material now for tooth material we take the measurement basically meso distal width of teeth anterior to first permanent molar same thing okay first permanent molar that is second premolar to second premolar now this mesial distal width is measured through a divider all right now the results how we will calculate discrepancy by uh, subtracting them all right now if the discrepancy you have to draw this table it is very important if it is between 0.0.02 to 2.5 mm so it means that proximal stripping has to be done now proximal stripping is a type of treatment which is done for methods of uh, space gaming in this what you do is you slenderize the tooth that is we proximally strip the we strip the proximal parts of the tooth suppose the tooth is like this very bulky so we strip some part of it from here some part of it from here all right then if it is from 2.5 to 5 mm then you can do the extraction of second premolar if it is more than 5 mm then we will do the extraction of first premolar all right this is the inference all right so i hope it is easier for you to understand i did not have a brass wire but i do have a cast if you want just give me a few seconds uh this is the cast all right so this is the divider now what you will do is so basically remember for caries we have to take it from the second premolar to the second premolar uh meso distal width is easy you will calculate it like this by placing it like this all right one then again you will increase it and then you will use the scale and check it how much it is all right maximum meso distal width you have to take if it is uh, suppose uh, if some of the this is an idle cast but if it is uh, suppose uh, some of the tooth is tilted or something like this then you can even take it from the lingual or the palatal side all right then uh, uh, the arch 
length i do not have a uh, wire present at this moment uh, but i can show you in a way i do not even have a thread at this point uh, but just give me a few seconds yeah so i have this diary so basically suppose this is a brass wire all right i'm sorry i do not have it at this moment so you will do something like this okay so till here then you will mark it with the pen and then you will check it on the scale all right now if it is this thing is retrocline matlab inside so you will take it as this retrocline hai so you will take it outside or fir aise andar ko all right now if it is procline then what you will do is you will take it like this like through the singulum all right yeah through the singulum till here then mark a point all right so yeah this is how you will do it um I also have a cast which is not ideal. If you want to see, just give me a second. Let's talk of this cast. This is a uh, very not so very ideal. Now you can also see that these teeth are very rotated types. This is rotated. All right. so how to measure it you will measure it from here matlab jahan se bhi maximum you can get all right so over here also as you can see these are a bit uh, i think procline uh, we will have to see it through the other cast also like we will need the mandible so to know if it is retrocline or procline so yeah so this is how you will do the caries analysis i hope you understood in next video we'll talk about the analysis and then it will be easier for you to understand it's a very interesting topic thanks